Good morning everybody and welcome to another week's reflection, the third week of Advent. I'm being a bit of a fancy pants this morning uh, as I'm filming at sunrise. And there's two reasons for this. The first is uh, to prove that the world is turning as it should, which I think is important. As the sun shines its warmth and its rays on, on our earth. It highlights the message of the Gospel of John in this week's reading. John the Baptist out in the desert said, I'm not the light. The light is coming. I am a messenger so that you can prepare for when this light arrives. And if we go back to the very beginning of our biblical account, the light that was cast in darkness, the life that was brought out of chaos, and as stars, universes, and our earth was created by the living God in love, this is the same light, life, and love that John the Baptist is inviting us to prepare for. Jesus, fully human, fully God. I've been reflecting this week on the fact that when the light shines, it reveals a shadow. And I can't help but think that part of our Advent waiting, part of our Advent journey, is acknowledging that for every good thing, we could probably counteract it with something that's happened in our lives that has hurt us, or tried to put out the light. A human being is an, is an, is an incredible person, is an incredible creature. And I like to think that there is a light inside of us that can never be put out, no matter what anybody does to us. I think this is an important Advent truth, actually. And part of our Christian walk of faith is to actually encourage others to shine their light, is to find help to keep our light alive, that we too can be messengers in the desert, as it were. That does bring light to darkness, hope to despair, love where there's hatred or discord. It was the light that brought the wise men, it was the light that brought the shepherds. It was the light that probably finally allowed the innkeeper to show compassion for this family rather than anger in our Christmas account. It's the light of those who have followed Christ over the years, who have acted, thought, spoken. Words of justice, words of freedom, words of responsibility. And so this week in your reflections, I'm going to invite you to embrace the light, to recognize the shadows and find a way to live with both. I wish you well as Christmas comes ever closer and no matter what circumstances you are in, the living God of light, of life and of love wants to dwell in your heart and in your home, and in your life this week. See you soon.